Hey guys, so this is Elseworlds Part 3, and I just finished um, recording and editing my um, Part 2 video because um, I did miss the uh, original air date, um, so I had to do it after school today on uh, Tuesday. So, yeah, and it just um, dropped online, so, um, yeah. Um, so when we last left off, um, Earth, we got a lot of teases to, um, a crisis, a crisis, a crisis that's coming to the monitor, from the monitor, about possibly the anti-monitor showing up eventually, and crisis on infinite Earths. Um, Earth 90 Flash dead question mark question mark back to earth 90 question mark question mark yeah i was really confused about that um deegan got the book back um he changed reality again barry and oliver are no longer green arrow and flash they're now the trigger twins and they are on, on the run from the police and they were confronted by black suit superman so yeah i'm really excited for this part because uh from what i hear um this episode's crazy, so yeah, I'm really excited, and this is a great crossover. I actually think this might actually be better than Crisis on Earth X. I personally believe that, but yeah. Uh, if you guys were wondering where my um, other videos, like my reactions for the other Flash videos I haven't done yet, or Legends, uh, that is coming soon. I just uh, was not able to get any of that done during the weekend, so yeah. After I finish editing this one which this will most likely um be uploaded um tomorrow realistically speaking but um yeah without being said um let's jump into the react or oh, okay so we have deegan doing his intro yeah okay this is interesting seeing deegan getting his own intro oh okay so black suit superman is john deegan all right that's interesting all right <laughs> Man, Barry is so, is such a good guy that he hates. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, Star Labs is now Superman's base. All right, so in this reality, Diggle and Caitlin work with this Superman. I'm assuming that's Supergirl. About Barry Allen and Oliver Queen, but for you and this Man of Steel, it's because. It's because they're from a different Earth. As if you don't exist in this world. And that's why you locked me up. Because she doesn't. Cisco's willing to help us. The last alternate version of Cisco I met was not super helpful. <laughs> Flashpoint Cisco. Who knows how he's been rewritten this time? Whoa! Generally, what is this place? Are they in space? <laughs> is that Gary? It's Gary. So I guess this is the Legends cameo they were talking about. We need to talk. Make an appointment with my assistant. <laughs> should have an opening around them. Go screw yourself. Cisco. <laughs> Who call me Mr. Ramon? We got a problem here, Mr. Ramon. Ooh, okay. So this is how they're incorporating the um, Supergirl characters. Or at least one of them, anyway. We've got this right. Totally. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Hours to get to a whole different Earth. A whole different Earth. Guess that's how he's gonna get Superman's help. Tell me more. Really bring so I'm, him down. Yeah, this is so Earth home? One, Alex. Boyfriend yeah, drums. definitely. No. So I wonder if she, because that could be interesting if she impressed, is no, incorporated into the beats. Batwoman TV show. Like she will be Pam, Batwoman's well, version of Maggie Sawyer. Also. Ooh, okay, Earth Thirty Eight. Oh no. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, you, uh, sister on this planet. I, I guess my pod didn't land here, but... Maybe her pod didn't even person. leave Krypton. Maybe Krypton was still destroyed and tell. Clark and Carr didn't leave. Or they possibly, um... Superman rewrote Landed somewhere else. To make us all his prisoners. I think or she might still be in the Phantom Zone. So do we. We, we did. What'd you do? Did I say you could touch me? Did I say you could touch me? <laughs> nice suit. <laughs> well, that's my cue. I'm out. <laughs> I just came from Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> 
Oh, this is cool seeing these two supermen fight in midair. Oh, shit! Ooh! Everybody else getting made of steel vibes? <laughs> oh, the time vault. So that's a fortress of solitude? Is reality fixed? Yep, reality's fixed. Yep, he's the flash again. Another kryptonite arrow. Uh-oh, what is happening? They just switched from regular Star Labs to Nazi Star Labs to... Alright. To, um, Superman Star Labs. What? You both die. When I opened the book, I... I watched both of you die doing exactly what you're talking about. Just like in Crisis on Infinite Earths, both of them die. Because they are the best of us! Man, this is a really good scene. I'm loving Oliver's- I mean, Steven's acting in the scene. Another Crisis reference. One change requires another. How would you propose I keep the balance? Oliver's gonna die, isn't he? Man, I'm loving this scene. Wait, but even if Oliver does die... If Oliver does die, that would still mean one other person must die. Amazo? Or Matalo? Yeah, Amazo. Ooh! -ho -ho. Martian Manhunter, Lois, and Brainy. <laughs> this might as well be a, the Justice League. Come on. Just call him the Justice League. Oh, it's just like uh, in the uh, animated series when Barry and uh, Superman raced. We shouldn't Superman be able to move fast though? What kind of, is that a kryptonite arrow or what is that? Is that like a specially made arrow for the book? Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> this was an amazing crossover. Annual thing, huh? Yep. Was that a... Are you smiling? <laughs> I like you guys. Yeah. Peace out. I'm your favorite Kryptonian. <laughs> Small bill. Wow. What's going on? I told you we had a lot of fun on Argo. Slowly, slowly. Well, we're all adults. <laughs> Are you having a baby? Yep. Oh my That's god. great. Oh and this was the such an amazing I crossover. Hanging at my cape for a while is because of you. The world of what? what? It's <laughs> Oh, is he gonna create a diamond? Oh, he's gonna propose. Okay. Will that play into next year's crossover? Hopefully. Well, damn, that was quick. It's nice to be able to feel the effects of alcohol again. Yep. the heroes. That you always have been. He's gonna sacrifice himself, I think, hey, in the um, crisis. Been you. I loved <coughs> it. I felt it. Should I hug it out? No, or... no. <laughs> I really mean it this time. Twice you've made me hug you. No. <laughs> okay, I mean it. <laughs> I will propose a toast <laughs> with us. Wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, Batwoman. <clears throat> I just came from Arkham. Don't oh, worry, the battering they had is listening in. Is as it should be. Who's this? The stage is set. Worlds will live. Worlds Psycho pirate. Will die. Oh yeah, that's uh his Psycho pirate's and quote from the twenty five years later newspaper. Okay, quote. Wait. What? No. 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 Uh. Uh. No! No! No way! No freaking way! 
crisis on infinite earths? Holy shizus. Holy crap. Crisis on Infinite Earths is coming in 2019. I didn't think they would get to this until Flash Season 10. Oh my god. And I thought this would be the best crossover ever. Okay, let's get into the breakdown. <sighs> Crisis on Infinite Earths is coming 2019. Fall 2019. I'm thinking that DC is now better than Marvel. No, okay, that's a bit of a stretch, but still. Crisis on Infinite Earths, DC's biggest event Potentially even the biggest comic book event in history is coming into live action form in 2019 in TV format. Oh my god. This CW you guys are the greatest. Now is this going to be like TV crossover episodes or is this going to be a TV movie? That is the question. Because if it's a TV movie, they, they have like boundless possibilities if they do that as a TV movie. Oh my god. I feel that's the only thing that we can talk about because Crisis on Infinite Earths is coming in 2019. That is going to be the 2019 crossover. If you told me that after Flash vs. Arrow that Christ, that in like six years from now or five years from now or whatever, that Christ on Infinite Earths was coming, I would think that you were high on crack. <sighs> this is going to be the biggest crossover ever. Yeah, I'm. I'm saying it. I'm saying it's going to be a bigger crossover than Avengers Endgame. <sighs> My God, this crossover was insane. Now, is this going to be like the crossover to end all crossovers? Is Christ? Because Christ on Infinite Earths is basically. Infinity War for DC, essentially. Because it's that big of an event. So is this going to be like the final crossover they'll ever do? Also, does this mean that Flash will end in Season 6? Alright. This crossover was the best crossover. And a Crest Slam Earths is coming. That's it. I honestly don't see what's going to happen. Like, if Crest on if it Earths is going to be 2019's crossover, will that be like the final crossover they'll ever do? Is that going to, like, end the Arrowverse, or what? <clears throat> also, what's going to happen to Flash, then? Is Flash going to die? Because he kind of has to if they're doing Crisis on Infinite Earths, or else that's going to be extremely inaccurate. And also, Supergirl kind of has to die, too, so what's going to happen to that? And if Flash does continue after that, because Flash will be on Season 6 during that time. And it says Fall 2019, so... Does that mean the second half of season six is gonna be without Flash, or is Flash is just gonna be eight or nine episodes? Oh man, this is gonna be insane. Oh my god, the, they have to make Black Lightning in the Arrowverse now if they're gonna bring in as many characters as they possibly can, okay? Because. I know for a fact that WB isn't going to allow them to use Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, or any of the other Justice League members. But still, it's going to be a big crossover because they have to incorporate Superman, Martian Manhunter, and other characters into this crossover. This crossover is going to be the best crossover. You know, I said it like multiple times, but seriously, if Crisis on Infinite Earths... It's coming in live action format. I would have expected that in a movie, like an actual cinematic movie, and that I would watch in the theater. But this is just, oh wow, this is just insane. This is just, just, just wow. Because I'm confused if will the Arrowverse end 2019 like. Because if will Flash end, will Supergirl end, will all the shows end or something? Because it can't. Because well, Batwoman is going to be a thing. So is Batwoman going to like start a new Arrowverse or something? 
Man, I have so many questions. Alright. This part was amazing, especially the end fight scene. When they brought in Martian Manhunter and Brainy and Lois. Because I'm like, because... Brainy and Martian Manhunter, because technically speaking, this is going to be the second crossover Martian Manhunter was, has been in. Like, my only nitpick is that I thought Martian Manhunter should have been in mo more episodes. At least in the show up in the second part. But still, this was amazing. Um, I really like the interactions between um, Kara and Earth-1 Alex. I wonder if we'll see more of Earth-1 Alex possibly in the Batwoman show. Possibly. Um... Cause well, Al cause that could be interesting if Alex, well, Earth One Alex would be like the Alex, I mean, the Maggie Sawyer of the Batwoman show. Cause that could be interesting. I really like the um, Deegan um, intro at the beginning of the episode. That was amazing. Um, Baron Oliver's Twitter Twins. That was great. Gary in this episode that was amazing for the amount of screen time he was in. It was also cool seeing James and Cisco as like gang members. That was also pretty cool. And Cisco just as a game member was just hilarious. Um, uh, we do see that Diggle and Caitlin were affected and they work with um, Black Suit Superman or Deegan. Um, and I just really like um, the scenes between Oliver and the uh, Monitor. And, well, the Monitor said they had to balance out not killing Oliver and Barry. I mean, not killing Carl and Barry. So, does this mean that by balancing it out, we'll... Crisis on Infinite Earths be how they balance it out is that Barry and Car do die there, or will Oliver die? Cause that, cause that, cause it gave me a feeling that Oliver would die, or something. But I'm not really sure. Nothing else to talk about. Cause Crisis, I am just lost for words that we were doing Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, I love the um, ending scene though with Oliver and Barry at the, at the bar and also it cuts to Batwoman and Oliver talking, that that was great. My one nitpick of this crossover is that I always wanted them to like merge um, Earth-38 and Earth-1, but I guess they're going to do that in Crisis Under Infinite Earths. Um, yeah, I'm just, um, this is a good place to end the video because I'm like, I'm just lost for words. I'm probably definitely gonna rewatch the crossover and see which is my favorite part. Cause I actually don't know which is my favorite part. Cause all of them were pretty good. Um, my big question is, will if Barry does die in Crisis on Infinite Earths, will Wally take over as the Flash? That is a big question. Well, that does depend on the availability of King Longsail and if he wants to come back. But yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video. Um, that's my review for the crossover. Uh, this part of the crossover. I'll probably do a actual review on all the parts. But yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any future content. Um, I'm going to try to get this edited tonight. I'm not going to try to get it uploaded. But it'll most likely be uploaded tomorrow. But we'll see. Anyway. That's going to be it for this video. <laughs> going to contemplate and self-reflect on this amazing reveal. And yeah. I'll see you guys later.